Alright guys, the WWE 2K14 stream has just finished, so I figured I'll go through all the new additions that were shown. Unfortunately, I can't upload the video, so I'll be using screenshots from the stream, but you can still watch the stream itself using the link in the video description. So the first gameplay from the stream give us our first look at the macho man Randy Savage making his way at the ring, complete with his entrance attire which I now understand why the previews from the press event were so impressed with it as it looks absolutely amazing and it doesn't appear to stick to Savage's legs when he's walking at the ring like some of the longer coats do in WWE 13. Also from Savage's entrance we see that the Wrestlemania mode stars have a special 30 years of Wrestlemania Minitron, similar to that Judy Era guys having the Attitude Trons last year. Going up against Savage was the Ultimate Warrior whose entrance was missing from the stream but we've already seen a lot of this in the Warrior trailer. As for the gameplay this gives us our first look at the new reversal system and I have to admit I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Gone are the reversal transitions that say reversal take you into a lockup and instead the reversal goes straight into an offensive move which looks seamless. You can also tell from watching it in action that it helps to mirror an actual match a lot more now as the new reversals can leave your opponent in a groggy state so you can then continue your offence which when you then counter and goes back the other way it means that matches flow a lot better with the offence keep switching between participants. Also confirmed in this match was the addition of Ultimate Warrior's comeback which now features signature and finishing moves as part of the comeback itself and a new on screen indicator that shows all four face buttons and highlights the button to press before the green circle then appears for you to time the button press and also included for Warrior was a custom pin animation that you can see here. Another new addition seen an updated dragon animation that now sees you walk your opponent around the ring by holding the back of his neck which looks a lot better than the current animations and it appears to be a lot easier to manoeuvre in order to place your opponent in certain positions. The match then ended when Savage hit his elbow drop but the in-match replays showed the new addition of in-game advertising for Titino's which although I'm not too familiar with it, it appears to be an American pizza company so it looks like we'll see various sponsorships included in the game similar to how you see sponsors popping up on TV to sponsor replays. The next footage featured Dolph Ziggler making his way to the ring and shaking his ass, complete with his steel in the show entrance shirt that was seen in the earlier screenshots for the game, with Aubrey and Brian highlighting the slits in the side of the shirt which is a nice touch, hopefully we'll get a shirt like this included in core mode this year. Then came Ryback whose model looks incredibly good this year and it features his entrance shirt with the camera zooming in close on his face and even hearing Ryback say wake up as he makes his way at the ring as it appears 2K have included a lot of the superstars audio during entrances something that was especially noticeable during Daniel Bryan's entrance. Moving on to the match and we've seen new moves for each superstar with Ryback hitting a Luthrez press and then repeatedly picking up his opponent and slamming him into the mat as well as having his new meat hook clothesline and an updated shell shock with Ziggler getting a new jumping DDT and a zigzag. Going back to the Mito clothesline, as this is a corner signature, you now have a signature prompt saying corner signature on screen, which is a nice inclusion if you don't know someone has a corner signature and you try in other positions to hit it. Also in this match we got to see the first footage of one of the new OMG moments with Ryback placing Ziggler against the turnbuckle post and then driving his head into the post with a big boot. Another new element also shown here was the gestures that take place during matches which fit in really well and see a superstar tapping the side of his head and taunting at their opponent. Finally the match ended with Ryback who now has a comeback but which didn't include his signature or finishing moves. Ryback managed to successfully perform the comeback and then go on to hit the meat hook and the shell shock for the win. Following the match, as were the entrances, 2K have added some superstar audio to the game so we were able to hear Ryback as he chanted feed me more which is another nice addition to the game. At this point the stream had passed the 10,000 concurrent viewers mark so Rey Mysterio was announced for the current roster with Rey's entrance showing him wearing his blue attire which includes the blue King Mystery shirt as Aubrey put it that he wore last year. And it's also worth pointing out that the on-screen graphics student entrances now include Twitter handles for superstars. Moving on and the stream ended with a simulation of this Sunday's SummerSlam main event of John Cena vs Daniel Bryan with Cena entering wearing his yellow never give up shirt and the newly designed WWE Championship with a special championship nameplate. Cena was then upstaged by the entrance of Daniel Bryan which looked absolutely amazing as did his model which came complete with his long straggly beard, no attire and entrance jacket. The best part however was the audio which featured the fans screaming yes and Daniel Bryan screaming no back at them which although he's now switched to saying yes again I'm sure there'll be an alternate yes version in the game after the same thing happened last year. 
Moving on to the match, and again we got to see some new moves, including the new OMG moment of hitting a DDT on the ring apron, and the confirmation that Daniel Bryan's no lock is a catch and finisher, and it can be set up by using the LB to throw your opponent into the air. Although, I have to admit, when I seen him throw Cena in the air and then hit it, it didn't look right to me at all, but I'm sure it'll look a lot better when it's done to someone that's attacking from the top of the turnbuckle, or via a springboard. Also revealed during this match was that the breaking point moves can now be assigned to limb targeting system, meaning they're no longer restricted to grapple moves. The match then ended with Cena countering Brian's attempted finisher and hitting that attitude adjustment for the win, and that's how the first stream ended. So there's a lot of new stuff that we've got to see tonight, and if you haven't watched the stream itself, then you can watch a replay on the WWE Games channel. And of course, there's two more streams set for tomorrow, which will reveal the WrestleMania mode roster, and also a panel that will be hosted by GR, just like last year, which will feature various superstars in attendance to share their favourite WrestleMania memories. So let me know what you think of the first look at WWE 2K14 in the comments. Personally, I'm really impressed with the new reversal system. I think that'll lead to much better matches this year. So leave your thoughts below and I'll catch you tomorrow to recap the roster reveal.